This might be the best defense to use in Madden 23. Woo! It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. <laughs> and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using in results like this, thank you. Stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be using the 49ers as I am still trying to use teams based on your requests in the comments. And lately, I've been seeing a lot of requests for actual good teams. I still have the Bengals and the Raiders up next, but that could change. So let me know in the comments section what teams you'd like to see me use next. Since I'm using the Niners, I also wanted to use an offense that would maximize Christian McCaffrey. So I chose my Baltimore Ravens offensive ebook as this might be the best offense to run the ball in Madden 23. And on defense, I'm still using my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook book as this might be my favorite defense for the last two years straight before i get into the video though if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see Woo! more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top hand comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download for my depth chart i didn't have to make a lot of changes i'm starting trey lance at quarterback for his speed and at wide receiver i'm putting danny gray in his 94 speed at wide receiver three i'm also putting him at return man as well and I put Jason Verrett at cornerback two and Jimmy Ward at free safety. I started this game out on offense, but that didn't start out too good. To the metal, stop. As I start the game by running the ball like I had planned and getting a first down in the process, but I'm a passing player at heart, so once I see he is in a cover four, I try to dial up a one play touchdown. And I had it too, but I get a pressure-related underthrown ball that turns into an interception. I'll be so glad to not see Jesse Bates on this team next year, as he's probably the player that's intercepted me the most this entire year in Madden 23. Yeah. On defense, the formation I'm going to be using all game is once again my dime normal defense. I've put out several videos about this formation, but I usually use cover two man. This defense has become so popular online that most people have been forced to find ways to beat it. So if you guys want to see more about how to run this defense, I will have links in the description to a video that I made as well as on screen pops at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I will still use it from time to time in this scheme, but the defense that today's video is about is the dime blitz three out of the same formation. The setup for this blitz shares a lot of the same stuff steps as the cover two man in that I will once again pinch the defensive line and slant them outside. After that, the only other step is to blitz your user and hover either the left tackle or the left guard if you expect the run before dropping back into coverage. And on the next play, everything is locked up as we get two defenders in for the sack. Cover 3 is currently one of the best program defenses, but it has some weaknesses in the default flat coverages and underneath, and we see that on the next play as everyone is running these wheel routes right now as he gets a first down on 3rd and 20 underneath on a simple catch and run. What? So to best set up this defense against stuff like this, I find it's best to set your zone drops to 5 and your curl flats to either 15 or 20 based on what type of crosses your opponent is running. But for this game, I set my curl flats to 15. I also set my zone coverages to match, ball in the air defense to play receiver, and I turned off auto flip for the blitzing cornerback. Sometimes, depending on the offensive formation, the blitzing cornerback will be in too close. So in this situation, you can either walk him outside manually or just base the line and show blitz to get him back out wide as the cornerback gets around for instant pressure again on the next play. <laughs> He completes the pass underneath to the running back on the next play and calls a hurry up. So on the next play after that, I simply play underneath to take that away. But I get caught up on the defensive line with my user and can't cut off the tight end over the middle to give up another first down. Now that we get closer to the end zone, I'm going to hard flat every single play so he can't dink and dunk me anymore. And I also make a new adjustment to take away the running back by quickly manning the blitzing cornerback to the running back as I will use this defender in a few different ways throughout this video. I think this threw him off as nothing is open once again as he tries to throw it to the corner out gotcha, bitch. only for Verrett to get an easy interception that I was only one guy away from taking to the house oh, he almost had it. on offense I go back to trying to run the ball 
Bang! But I'm really not a running player, so eventually I switch over to my gun normal while off close offense, which I have made a lot of videos about as well, and will once again have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video. I see that he is in cover two zone, which has suddenly made a comeback online, so I switch over to my one play touchdown from the escape play, but he has clearly made a deep middle zone adjustment, so I take the check down in the China route to the running back to get the first. Since he is protecting deep middle, I'm just going to attack the outside, so I use the same play, motion in the X receiver, and put him on a streak so that the corner route gets wide open for a big play. I switch offenses from here, and my crossing route gets wide open for the first down, but Trey Lance's accuracy can't handle the throwing angle, so the receiver has to come back to the ball and catch it, and that ultimately ends the drive as I can't run for the first. I decide to go for it, and McCaffrey gets wide open over the middle, but my opponent makes a nice user play to get a tackle short of the first. Back on defense, I am still hard flatting, and the run defense is stepping up big time. <laughs> Your ass down. He tries to hit the corner route on the next play, and I almost switch on for another interception. On the next play, since he needs 13 yards, I leave the zone coverages alone, and he gets half of what he needs back underneath before deciding to go for it on fourth down. And this is the first time I decide to switch back to cover two man, which wasn't a bad defense. I was just behind using with Hufunga, as I'm not used to the speed of the players on this defense, as I give up a huge play on a crossing route to let him get inside the red zone. I make the same mistake on the next play with Warner Damn it! as players speed can always be a learning curve early in games when you use new teams he tries to go for two though as the pressure once again gets through and makes the stop how about new in the second half he gets the ball again the run defense is still pushing him backwards as Joe Mixon is averaging losing a yard per carry at this point he switches over to the gun bunch as I don't expect him to run the ball again for a while before hitting me with a double drag setup to take advantage of my lack of coverage over the middle as this is too much for me to cover all by myself on the next play, he tries to hit me with the PA post shot out of the gun tight flex, which is one of the harder plays to stop in the game. But you can see that everything is locked up. Gotcha, bitch! As he decides to throw a game-changing interception to Verrett once again, who finishes the job this time. Back on defense, the blitz is flying in fast now as we almost get the safety before he hits me with a deep crosser to end the threat. And now since he is flooding the middle with more routes than I can cover on my own, I make a new adjustment to throw him a curveball by giving myself some help and dropping both in the coverage before I drop in on the tight end. Got he. And I think I got Warner's speed under control now. On offense, I start to drive by going backwards as I thought I could make something out of nothing before I throw an incomplete pass to get into a quick third and 15. From here, I at least want to get a field goal so I'm thinking four down territory as I take the running back underneath to get the fourth and six on the next play it looks like he is still in cover four once again only this time he is bringing everyone down to the box so I planned on going over the top but he recovered nicely enough to take that away while also leaving the running back wide open underneath for the first down if I can't run the ball to McCaffrey I'm going to pass to him with the red zone scissors route for a big first down Inside the red zone, though, I am only going backwards before I go back to McCaffrey in the passing game once again to bring up a fourth and three with the game potentially on the line, as I want a touchdown to protect myself from him scoring. I go back to the escape play one more time. I want to see him bringing everyone into the box, so when I see him drop down on the running back, I take the deep crosser to take the lead. I decide to go for two to guarantee victory, and a double drags play is almost unstoppable from here. Back on defense, he goes into full panic mode, passing every play and running hurry up as he knows he has to score fast to have any chance in this game. We get a stop here and there, but at this point, I probably should have switched over to my cover two man defense for prevent purposes once again, as he mosses me to get inside the red zone, even though the coverage was there. Before getting to the one yard line on a crossing route and finishing the drive with a run play, which was his first positive gain all day. Now I only have two points, I just put out a tip video on how to get more kick return touchdowns as there are several methods on how to do this more often. One way is by simply not sprinting and you will notice that you will get much better blocking as he kicks it deep and we take it to the house to get the lead back. If you guys want to see more about that method, I will once again have a link in the description and at the end of the video. That's right. That's As I switch over to my cover two man prevent to end the game, my opponent tries to go over the top, but I have a much better idea of what Hufunga's speed is capable of. Nope. And we get the interception this time. So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section. If you want to see more about the offenses, defenses, and special teams that I was using in today's video, I will have them popping up on screen. So just click the links as I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.